we are continuing with our series on changes in uh, the provisions of ACE 722. These are changes from ACE 716. Uh, we started with uh, changes in the uh, dead load, live load, and load dead load, live load provisions and load combinations. Uh, then we devoted one segment entirely to snow. The next four segments were on seismic design provisions. One, one seminar was on chapter 11, basically earthquake ground motion. It, it, that I think is the briefest description. The next one was on chapter 12, which is seismic design of building structures. Then chapter 13, non-structural components. And then chapter 15, uh, non-building structures. Uh, all of this was followed by a seminar on tsunami loads by Ian Robertson of Honolulu. Uh, this is the uh, one following the tsunami seminar on wind loads. Bodhi mentioned that there was supposed to be one on rain and ice before this one, but, but it will now follow the tornado seminar, which we will do next, and then the uh, rain and ice will be the last seminar in the series. The changes in wind load provisions, which are chapters 26 through 31, are, as you would imagine, quite a few. Uh, the seminar is an hour and a half, but the speaking time is something like 65 minutes. Uh, if you, uh, <laughs> if if the uh, question and answer sessions actually take ten minutes each, uh, and I have a hundred slides, so uh, it it is kind of a challenge, but I I I believe and I hope that we will get get through all the material and that you, you will you will have an idea of the uh, more significant changes. So, as mentioned, we are discussing changes from AC 716 to 22. That is very important. I have two slides on which I have listed what we consider to be the most important changes. The wind speed maps and the geo database for contiguous United States are updated. So the wind speed maps of AC 722 are different from those of AC 716. And on all of this, I will give you the details later. The topographic effect factor K sub ZT is, is now, uh, the determination is updated as we say. Uh, number three, the uh, height and combined height and exposure coefficient uh, K sub Z is also uh, revised, uh, revised in pretty significant ways. Simple diaphragm building, the whole term has been <laughs> deleted from AC 722. There is no definition anymore. And there were two methods of wind design that were only for buildings, for simple diaphragm buildings those design methods are also gone. They have been deleted. Uh, there are pretty elaborate new provisions for elevated buildings, which is a defined term, as I'll show you. And, and, and these uh, new provisions are, uh, it seems to me, pretty complicated. There is a new chapter 32 on design for tornado loads. We will devote a whole seminar to that. So I will just mention the barest minimum <coughs> today. New provisions have been added for ground-mounted fixed tilt solar panel systems. 
So roof mounted systems were covered for the first time in AC 716. Now it is ground mounted systems. These are the fixed tilt systems as opposed to the tracking systems that probably will come at some future time.